Hello, my name is Jamile Ferreira. This presentation will be about a simple approach to correct ad hoc of maxillary canines case report, published in June 2019 issue of ADODU. This case was treated at the orthodontic department of the Fluminense Federal University in Niterói City, Brazil. I have had support of Professor Nelson Mucha and Giordani Silveira. In this clinical case, the patient presented class 1 molar relationship with severe space deficiency of 15 mm in the anterior maxillary arch. The right maxillary primary canine was present. Still in the maxillary arch, the canines were virtually overlapping vestibularly to the lateral incisors and the right lateral tooth was in crossbite. The mandibular arch presented a space deficiency of 6 mm. Both upper and lower anterior teeth showed lack of gingival leveling and the left mandibular central incisor presented a mild gingival retraction. It was observed in cephalometric analysis a slight protrusion of the maxilla and mandible in relationship to the cranial base, with a slight protrusion of the upper and lower lips and chin deficiency. The treatment objectives were to improve facial profile, eliminate upper and lower crowding, create space for maxillary canines, maintain class 1 molar relationship, establish normal canine relationship, correct lateral incisor crossbite, maintain overjet and overbite, and obtain functional occlusion with stable occlusion contacts. The treatment plan for this case was traction of the four first premolars, followed by retraction of the upper canines with proper anchorage control. A fixed transpalatal bar was used for anchorage control. The four first premolars in the primary canines were extracted. Springs in the T-loop shape with helicoids were fitted from the canines to the second molars in the maxillary arch and a light force was applied when the springs were activated. The measure and distal legs of t helicoid loops were made at different heights, as the measure was shorter than the distal leg, to ensure the extrusion force was as biological as possible. After the maxillary teeth had been retracted and extruded, space were obtained in the anterior area, and all maxillary teeth were included in the treatment, aligned and level. So, the lower teeth were aligned and level, and the canine retraction and the space closure were performed by Ms. Elastomeric Chains. Outstanding results were achieved at the end of treatment with the molar relationship preserved in class 1, and ideal closure contacts obtained among all teeth, especially the canines. A mutually protected occlusion was obtained with stable contacts. Smile harmony and improved facial profile were achieved, as well as a normal gingival contour. The four-year follow-up of this case report with excellent and stable results confirmed that premolar extractions with canines retracted in space closure with proper biomechanical control enable a simple and predictable approach. I would like to thank the managing editor Chris Burke and Dr. Rolf Barents for the opportunity to present this video. Thank you and enjoy your reading!